Thank you guys. Thank you so much for showing up here at Bernie's Bungalow for More Up North. I'm Shannon Moore. I'm your hostess. I'm your just a girl from Homer. And um, I am so excited about tonight's show. We've got a couple of people here from the Anchorage Film Festival, the Anchorage International Film Festival. They're very, well, you know, international movies of mystery. And I hope that um, hopefully I'll be bumping into some of you at those films. Also, uh, we've got a great panel with Eric Croft. Uh, let's see, Bob Shavelson's dragged himself in, as well as Elston Lawson, so I'm looking forward to talking to them. Uh, a couple things this week, well, just this week, Sean Parnell has decided that, well, here's the scoop. Alaska has outrageous numbers of rape and incest. I know, we've had this as one of our standards for years and years, and finally a governor has decided that they're gonna attack it, so good for him. I'm not really sure what took so long, but I'm really glad it's happening. Uh, one of the announcements was that he's going to be putting in 15 new uh, officers that are going to be in charge of sort of looking this over, uh, a law department position, all sorts of things that are coming up. And I, I wanted to help him out with a public service announcement on this. So, Alaska, if you're a man or a woman who's a rapist, could you please stop? It's rude. It's past rude and it's hurting people. Stop. I don't know why that was so difficult. Somebody could have done this a long time ago. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about Supreme Court uh, appointment here and many other things. So we're going to want you to come back and talk with us. Uh, you can send your email questions in to moreupnorth at gmail.com. We'll be right back. to more up north and thank you for all your sincere applause I really appreciate that um, you know it's cold here frankly and I don't have enough hair on my body to just live here naturally uh, and so in the winter time here we all have to look for things to do that sort of keep us from I don't know wanting to kill someone with a power tool which seems to happen pretty often unfortunately or you know I don't know having children that you don't want to have just to stay warm so uh, one of my favorite things has been for the last several years to attend the, uh, the Anchorage International Film Festival. It's fantastic. Uh, last year, one of my favorite movies I've ever seen in my life, uh, The Wrecking Crew, was on. And I actually got to be friends with uh, Denny Tedesco over it. I just had such a blast. It was such a great film that I begged him for a copy, and I've watched it over and over. I'm wondering which film it's going to be this year for me. So uh, I wanted Tony Shepard to come in. He developed this, uh, the founder and vice president of the Anchorage International Film Festival. And uh, he's a partner in Walsh, Walsh Shepard Strategy and Communications. So I'm so glad you came in. Well, thanks for having me. I'm really excited that you have this show. And you have it's such great. a great shirt. Oh, well, thank you. thank you. That's the second compliment I've had. I know. It's last, very you know, metrosexual. Like it's fabulous. Women love it, but I am taken. So, you know, well, pardon me. But, hold uh, me back. Uh, Good thing we got all these people in the room. Now, so tell me, why did, why did you start this? I mean, are you just like some sort of film geek that you just were like, oh my God, how do I do this and get to see all the films I want to see? No, I could say possibly a geek, but not a film geek per se. Um, honestly, I've never presented it in this fashion, but I started it just for the fun of it. I've always felt like I had to like have this real cool philosophical reason for starting the film festival, but it was really just for the fun of it. I was having coffee with a friend. He was uh, going to film school, and he was up here. We were at Side Street uh, Cafe, and, um, you know, is there a film festival in town? And, well, there isn't, and I am a filmmaker, so I kind of had a little inspiration because of that, because I do commercial TV all the time. But um, um, so through the, the passion of wanting to be more creative um, and not being able to do that because I'm busy doing commercial product, I thought, well, what about just creating a film festival? So you just made a place that you could actually, that you wanted to go to. Yeah, it was just kind of like, let's just make it happen and, 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 and start this thing off, build a website and see what happens. And I think the mystique of Alaska really was the, uh, the saving grace because all of a sudden we had 200 submissions and the film festival even wasn't for the, until the following year. I built the website. So it was like, you know, if you build it, they will come? Pretty much like that, though I did not like that movie. Myself. There have been a few. There have been a few that. Yeah, that's a good point. There have been a few that I was just like, really seriously, who is on the screening board? But some of them have just abs. And, and I've looked forward to this. Gotten the little 
bought the little pass so they could go to any of them, gone to all sorts of different venues all over town, uh, met different filmmakers, certainly, that are sitting in the audience. They actually want to come here. Is it the sort of check Alaska off your list? You know, I, I think it's that. I think it's the mystique of Alaska. I also think it's the uh, great, fabulous reputation that we've gotten over the years. In fact, I get some feedback from Natalie and Jay about that. And I really think more than anything else, it's just another art gallery for the artists to, you know, present their film. It's an opportunity. And so they see a, a Anchorage International and, wow, I've heard some good things. And, you know, why not? Kind of well, I thing. think it's a great way to attempt to take back our mystique. Yeah, we you need know some what mystique. I'm saying. Yeah, we need some we, mystique we lost, building. Yeah, we're some weird mystiques. This weird is a great mystique builder. You should actually say oh, Anchorage that, International it, Film Festival mystique. mystique. Mystique builder. All right, so uh, you mentioned uh, Australian filmmakers have come here. They're here for the festival. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, their film is called uh, Birthday, which makes its world debut in, at the Anchorage International Film Festival this week. Um, James, Har James Harkness, writer, producer, and director, and Natalie Left the Aridius. No. Did I say that right? Pretty much. All yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> so and you're an actor and a producer in this film. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. So before we talk about your film for just a couple minutes, really, Alaska? Yeah, like it was like, oh, apparently. I know it's December. <laughs> I'll pack everything I own. And it'll be really pretty because there'll be lights and snow. And that was actually that was one of the yeah that was one of the deciding factors. But um, I guess one of the things for us was actually looking through um, the past projects and the past selection and, um, and the, how quickly the festival itself has grown in the past nine years was actually one of the, I guess, more attractive things for us because it's really making its mark and doing it in a sort of, a, as I, I think I was speaking to Tony about, in a like independent spirit, which is great. That's how we made our film, so, yeah. Excellent. The sort of last frontier. What about you, James? Um, well, in Australia, uh, it's a common practice for Australian films to pursue film festivals as a way of getting to a world market. Um, and um, at home, um, I've had support previously through the Australian government and uh, one of the festivals that um, they were able to support, even the attendance, was, strangely enough, the Alaskan mm. International Film Festival. There's a lot of... Uh, Just because of its growing reputation there and, and there's been, I, I understand from Tony, there's been some success with the Australian filmmakers before. Our winning film from yeah. uh, 2008 was Street Sweeper and that was right. an Australian film. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just good communications and rapport with the Alaska, uh, with the uh, Australian Film Commission. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a know. weird cousinship anyway. It's sort of like you've got 19 exactly. different climates just like us. You've got indigenous <laughs> people. You're basically a bunch of outlaws. We both start um, with an A. And we love it. We both start with an A. <laughs> Which is And cool. end with an A. Hello. Yeah. We're both on the polar opposites. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're extremes. But I got a question for you. Why isn't it colder down in southern Australia? I You're so know. close to the, you know, I don't get that. I mean, well, you, you know how on the map there's Australia and there's that little dot down the bottom that looks like it was forgotten, Tasmania? Yeah, that's Tasmania. that's pretty cold. That's sort of a little yeah. little bit of Alaska, but that's about as cold we as it is. We run the full gamut. Climate. So tell us, um, <laughs> tell us when this is airing for the first time. It'll be shown, I'm sure, several times, uh, which is great. If I can't, you know, at if I at least twice, and at if least it wins the uh, Audience Choice Award, it'll be shown again later in the film festival. Film festival is 14 days, and you probably have the screening dates down, but it's at the I Bear think Tooth. So, yeah, at the Bear Tooth, on uh, we premiere on Monday um, at 5:30 p.m. And we'd love all right? the audience. To that come. would be wonderful if you could join us. Well, I'll be there with my little film festival pass. And Please. Tony, for people that want to get a film festival pass, where can they go to get one? Uh, the, at the Beartooth. Uh, definitely the best place to get it is at the Beartooth. In fact, I think we're only selling them at the Beartooth. It just makes it easy on us. And uh, yeah, so the Beartooth for film passes. But you get individual screening tickets at all the venues. And your film also screens on Monday and, and then also on Saturday. On the following Saturday at the Beartooth. So go to one of those showings, because I'm right. telling you, you'll see a great film and uh, great to support their film that came all the way up from Australia. So. Thank you. Oh, it's a long, a long haul. So tell me to your website so people can go on it's to see the schedule. AnchorageFilmFestival.org. Wow, that's very creative. <laughs> yes, thank you. Because AIFF.org was taken? Yes. <laughs> I'll have to look and see what that one was. And I don't know if that was the Australian International Film Festival. <laughs> it might have been. All right. So, uh, Tony and uh, yeah. Natalie and James, thank you so much for being here. Thanks and I look forward you. to seeing your film. Fantastic. Yeah. We look forward Wonderful. to it. Wonderful. All right. Thanks so much. Hey, we'll be right back with more Up North.